Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is 3-Ball Cascade Motion. So this is another 3D print, um, which is sort of a, a multiple exposure style, as in that it shows the motion of something. So in this case, uh, the juggling pattern is a 3-Ball Cascade. So the idea here is that uh, time is increasing in this direction, and at each slice in this direction we see the state of the juggling pattern. Um, now the 3-Ball Cascade is, is what's being shown here. Um, so there are three balls and two hands. So the hands are represented as uh, little cylinders here. And you'll notice that the cylinders, so well, the, the hand on this side, the right side, just goes around in a, in, a, in a helix here. And the hand on the left side goes around in a helix here. And so as you move forward in time, the hands uh, alternate throws. Uh, and the balls move across from side to side. Uh, so a ball here is in the right hand at this point, gets thrown here, uh, travels through the air until it's caught here by the left hand, and then it's thrown again here, goes along here and is caught here in the right hand. And this, this wraps around, so uh, just being, being caught in the right hand here, this is the same position of the ball here. Um, so let me show you uh, the pattern again, except uh, with a slow motion video of um, me actually juggling the pattern. And you'll see uh, in this video that um, the, the right and left hands just make uh, small circles on the right and left sides, and the balls always cross over from one side to the other and then back again. And so um, back with the, the 3D print, that's exactly what you see here. Um, and so, so one interesting uh, thing about this is that if you only, uh, if we only had the balls, if we didn't have the hands represented as well, then there'd be three separate um, uh, strands which wouldn't be connected, and so it would all fall apart. Um, but the hands uh, connected together into a single solid object. This is a three-ball cascade motion.